So the brother reached out with a new type of printer that they made that I think solves a pain point for just about everyone when it comes to printers, the ink. Now this is the brother MFC-J995DW. It has all the standard multifunction printer features you'd expect nowadays in a top of the line printer. Multi-page copying and scanning with a 20 sheet automatic document feeder, automatic duplex two-sided printing in color and black and white, 150 sheet paper tray that'll hold up to legal sized paper, Wi-Fi and cloud printing services like AirPrint and Google Cloud Print 2.0, etc., etc., etc. All of which is great, but there's one feature that I'm particularly interested in. It's called the ink vestment tank. Now you might've seen those printers that have those huge tanks that you have to fill with ink using a squeeze bottle um, that last a long time, but are just really a pain to use. And then of course, you've probably seen your normal or average printer that uses cartridges, which are really easy to change, but basically just die all the time and probably at the most inopportune moments. Now these are kind of a mix between the two, where they have a ton of ink because they're a large cartridge, but they're easy to change in and out and deal with because again, they're cartridges. Now the crazy thing here though, is how much ink they actually provide. According to Brother, one set of cartridges, that's the one black and then the three colored ones, the magenta, cyan, and yellow, will last you about a year. Also, the printer includes a set in the box, so when you buy the printer, you actually have a year's worth of printing ready to go. Now, they say this is based on 150 pages a month, which sure, sounds reasonable, but I think in today's digital age, we use a lot less paper than that, and I think that means there's a lot more than a year's worth of ink in here. Hear me out. Now I work in a WeWork, if you don't know from past videos. It's basically a co-working location where a bunch of people from different industries and businesses and everything all work together under one roof. So I took a look at my printing log, along with some other members that sit around me, and uh, here's what I found. So WeWork was actually cool enough to give me some of the data on the building that I'm in. So it turns out that here, for the past 30 days, there was a total of 52,900 pages that were printed. Now, if you take into account that there's about 3,500 people in this building, that's an average of about 15 pages a month, which is nuts, right? Based on that data, this printer could potentially last you more than a year. Now, if you're the type of person that uses more ink than that or prints more pages than that, even if you print 150 pages a month, this printer will cover you for a year's worth of ink in the box. If you use more than that, the ink to replace this is super cheap. Uh, brother is saying that it, it costs as little as a penny per black and white copy and a nickel per color copy, which you'll find is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other solutions out there. And for $199, including the ink, you get a great multifunction printer that is a scanner and a copier and can do duplex printing and has a document feeder so you don't have to sit there and scan things one at a time, etc. Now there's one last thing I have to touch on about this printer just because it just blows my mind that I have not seen this more often. This printer, whenever you do finally start to run out of ink, will actually display a page count. How many pages you have left as opposed to what other printers usually do, which is just give you the ink levels in the tank, which means nothing to anyone. There you go, guys. Clearly, I'm a fan of like this ink vestment tank thing. Uh, but if you guys wanna check out this printer, I'll leave a link below to the cheapest place that I could find it. Also, shout out to WeWork for giving me the data on the printers in here. I thought that was super fascinating to me and it seems like I'm about average uh, with everybody else in this building. Otherwise though, as always, if you guys like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and tick the bell next to the word subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos because YouTube doesn't apparently notify anybody anymore of anything. As always though, again, thanks for watching.